Hello and welcome to Nutshell Recaps. This video explains the synopsis of the movie, Abigail. Warning, there will be spoilers, so proceed with caution. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, it will really help our channel grow. A 12-year-old ballet dancer named Abigail is shown in the film's opening scene practicing by herself in a theater. Six crooks who are preparing to kidnap her are visible to us outside. After her practice, Abigail gets into her driver's car and drives home. A hacker successfully compromises the security system before she gets to her residence, letting three persons in through the front entrance. Abigail gets home soon after and goes to her room to try to get some rest. However, the kidnappers appear out of nowhere and put her under sedation, making her comatose. After that, they drag her outside and into their van. The group soon reaches an old mansion, where Lambert, their mastermind, greets them. After being brought unconscious to a room, Abigail is shackled and strapped to the bed. Next, we get to meet the six members of the kidnapping team. Joey, a former medic, Dean, the getaway driver, Peter, the muscular man, Sammy, the hacker, and Rickles, the sniper. Frank is the group's purported leader, but these are code names that Lambert gave them, not their real names. Since the procedure is only going to last for a day, he begs them not to disclose their true names or histories. To ensure the privacy of the operation, he also seizes their phones. Lambert then tells the group that all they have to do now is keep an eye on the girl because the hardest part is finished. Lambert says that Abigail's father is an extremely wealthy man who is going to lose $50 million when Joey asks about him. He tells them that each member will earn $7 million and be free to go their separate ways once the ransom is paid. Lambert then exits the mansion after saying he will see them in a day. Later, everyone starts drinking, with the exception of Joey, who says she must quickly spend time with her son. When Dean starts speculating about everyone's pasts, Joey corrects him, saying he is completely wrong. The others then place financial wagers on her ability to accurately guess their stories. Joey figures out right away that Peter was a mob enforcer for the Quebec Mafia, Frank was a police officer, and Sammy comes from an affluent background and enjoys crime for pleasure. Frank appropriately notes that Joey used to be a junkie in response. Joey becomes a little anxious upon hearing this and rushes to see if Abigail is well. She is awake and in great discomfort. She dons a mask and takes the girl's blindfold off carefully. When Abigail says that her hands hurt, Joey also takes off her handcuffs. As soon as they start conversing, Joey reveals that she has an identically aged kid. The young child is scared and thinks she might die, but Joey tells her she won't be alone as long as she follows instructions and her father pays the ransom. She even makes Abigail a pinky promise that she won't allow anyone to harm her. However, the little girl remarks that this whole operation is pointless because her dad doesn't care about her. She also apologizes to Joey for what is about to happen to her. Hearing this, Joey is spooked and she goes downstairs to meet Frank. She informs him that the girl implied her father is violent and asks if he knows who he is. Frank claims he has no idea and heads to see Abigail. He was unaware that her blindfold had been removed, so he panics. He then threatens her with a gun and asks if she saw his face. Abigail replies she hasn't, but Frank does not believe her. When he keeps asking, she eventually responds, Christophe Lazar, which is the name of her father. Frank, taken aback, announces his departure as he heads downstairs. He clarifies to the others, who are perplexed, that the child they just abducted is the daughter of infamous crook from the underground Christophe Lazar. When everyone begins to panic, Joy advises them to just make an anonymous phone call and go. Frank, however, is worried because Abigail has already seen his face and is able to identify him. Joey tells the guys about the $7 million prize and declines his suggestion to kill her. They choose to carry out the operation as a result. After some time, Dean enters a dark area while investigating the home. There are several old photos on the wall, and one of the females in them resembles Abigail quite a bit. As he makes his way to the basement to continue exploring, a door suddenly unlocks by itself. He tries to get away when he becomes terrified, but something drags him within. Sammy hears his screaming at that very moment and goes to find out. Before long, she discovers Dean dead, his head cut off from his body. She calls the others as soon as she starts shouting since they are as shocked by what they see. Following this occurrence, Joey brings up Valdez, the notorious hitman from Lazar who is notorious for beheading his victims. As it happens, three of Lazar's gang's senior members were captured by the FBI in New York many years ago. Before their trial, they were housed at a hotel where security personnel were posted everywhere. The FBI suddenly found all three dead with their heads severed and their organs removed the following morning. Remarkably, the room was on the 23rd level and could only be reached via door and window. Alarmed, everyone scrambles to see if Abigail is still in the room. Disturbed by what has happened, Rickles makes the decision to leave. He finds another barred door in front of the front entrance, though, when he tries to leave the aide. To no avail, he and the other members try everything to get beyond it. Their actions set off a security system that seals off all the doors and windows, keeping them inside, making the situation worse. Afterwards, Joey visits Abigail and inquires as to whether anyone else, specifically, Frank, visited her. At first, the girl disputes this, but then she says the man with the glasses is going to hurt her if she tells him the secret. 
Then she tells a falsehood, saying the man, whose name is Valdez, works for her father. When Joy hears this, she turns to face Frank, but she is startled by a sound. As she turns around again, she sees Rickles standing eerily. As she gets closer, she discovers to her horror that he has suffered severe injuries. Rickles dies and falls on her before he can say anything else. Joey assembles the group once more in the following scene and accuses Frank of being Valdez. She says he killed the two people and shares what Abigail told her earlier. Frank answers that this is untrue and that the girl is merely attempting to coerce her into turning against them. When he's had enough, he gives Peter the order to murder the girl. The latter complies and aims to shoot Abigail, but Joey intervenes just in time to stop him. When the other people show up, they quarrel over whether or not to kill the girl. Sammy watches Abigail effortlessly take off her restraints throughout this period. As she tries to alert the others, Abigail turns into a vampire out of nowhere and starts attacking Peter. After Frank shoots her in the forehead, she briefly appears to be dead. However, a few seconds later, Abigail gets back up and starts to attack them all. The group eventually escapes and confines her inside the room. They now understand that because Abigail is Valdez and a vampire, all the rumors about her improbable assassinations are real. They begin attempting to devise a strategy for dealing with her and contemplate employing common elements like stakes, crosses, cloves of garlic, and silver bullets. Following this, everyone goes to confront Abigail, with the exception of Joey, but she is idly dancing with Dean's corpse. Then Sammy attacks her with garlic, but Abigail takes care of her quickly. Subsequently, she hurls Peter into the floor, striking his chest with her cross, causing him to bleed. Frank tries to stab her with a wooden stick in the meantime, but she disarms him and stabs his leg. Feeling defeated, the trio heads downstairs, where Joy tends to their wounds. She suggests that while Abigail may seem nearly indestructible, there's still hope. She recalls how the tranquilizer injection worked on her when she was abducted from her home. Therefore, she proposes a plan to capture Abigail once again and administer the drug. Following this, the four of them split up and begin looking for Abigail. Peter is the first one to be attacked, so he flees and locks her in a room. However, the vampire smashes through the door with ease and follows him while performing ballet moves. Then Abigail finds Frank and tries to strangle him to death. She bites one of her arms when Sammy tries to step in. Finally, Joey injects her while Peter leaps on her and pins her to the ground. Abigail becomes unconscious quite fast as a result of this. She awakens to discover herself imprisoned in an iron cage. The gang is then informed by Abigail that Lambert, the person who employed them all, is employed by her father. She reveals that she is going to kill them all and that he orchestrated the entire kidnapping incident for amusement. After that, Abigail goes on to disclose each group member's actual identity. She discloses that Sammy's real identity is Jessica, a hacker who had previously made off with money from a Lazar subsidiary. Terence, who goes by Peter in real life, was a member of a crime organization that committed theft from Lazar's establishment. Adam Barnett, Frank's name, is an undercover cop who captured Lazar's gang members in New York. Lastly, Joey, whose true name is Anna Lucia, is present. She was a field medic who, after developing a morphine addiction, lost her job. Joey started off as an underground medic, but Abigail notes that while she was intoxicated, she nicked the archery of a significant man in Lazar's gang. Then, she confesses that she organized the gathering in order to exact revenge on her father's behalf. However, she also makes the promise to spare the lives of anybody who aids in her release. Joey shoots Peter when he tries to liberate her after hearing this. After that, she takes him to get treated, asking Frank to watch out for Abigail. When they are alone, the vampire girl tries to get Frank to open the door by manipulating him, but he refuses to give in. Consequently, she opens the door and attacks him herself. It turns out that her only intention in acting limited was to play around with the group. After that, Abigail kills Frank, but not before Joey shows in and smashes one of the window shields. As a result, light can now penetrate the space, severely burning Abigail's hand. Frank and Joey seize the chance and dash to the library alongside the others. They recognize that they are safe until dawn there when they see that a particular window is the source of the sunlight. Sammy then implies that there needs to be a power source within the home. She can simply destroy that if they manage to get their hands on it, which will eliminate the shields. Her suggestion is well received by the group, and they divide into pairs to find the power source. Shortly after, Abigail regains control over Sammy, who had been bitten, and begins to play music once more. In an instant, Sammy turns into a vampire and goes after Peter. She kills him brutally, then submits to Abigail's tutelage to start ballet dancing. When Joey and Frank get there shortly after, they see that Sammy is acting suspiciously. She breaks into a bizarre laugh as she informs them that Peter has passed away. When the other two notice this, they begin to flee, and Sammy follows after them. They quickly reach the library area and take cover from the sun. When Sammy tries to follow them, Joey uses a mirror to shine light on her, shattering her entire body into fragments. At that moment, a hidden bookcase door opens, allowing Joey and Frank to step inside. They eventually discover a control room where Lambert has been keeping an eye on them all along. They attempt to assault him, but because he is also a vampire, he effortlessly defeats them. It is at this pivotal moment that Lambert reveals a whole truth. He says that two years ago, Abigail gave him the vampire transformation. Ever since, she's made him bring her father's enemies here on a regular basis. 
Lambert is tired of obeying Abigail and her father, even after obtaining superhuman skills and immortality. Then he makes Frank an offer to turn vampire in exchange for aiding in the takeover of Lazar's empire. Frank is thrilled to hear this and accepts the offer right away. Then Lambert pushes Joey away and begins to bite Frank's neck. In an effort to give him more strength, he also voluntarily lets him sip his vampire blood. When Frank's metamorphosis is finished, Lambert commands him to murder Joey as his first victim. But he betrays Lambert by driving a stake through his heart, instantaneously murdering him. Frank then turns his attention to Joey and makes an attempt to murder her. However, Abigail shows up simultaneously and starts a brawl with him. Frank effortlessly overcomes her with his enhanced strength and consumes her blood. She becomes quite weak as a result and falls to the ground. Joey, in the meantime, dashes over to the control panel and turns off the security. When she tries to leave the mansion, she is frustrated since the exit is closed. Frank corners her soon after and starts throwing her around like a bag of potatoes. His goal is to transform her into a controllable vampire. At one point, Abigail comes up to Joey and tells her that she can't win by alone because she's too weak. Frank is getting more and more destructive, so the females decide to band together and fight him to stop. However, despite their best efforts, they are unable to harm him. Rather than letting go, he grabs Joey and bites her. Frank now believes that Joey will follow his instructions. He then gives her a stake and gives her the order to murder Abigail. Joey turns around and starts attacking the young girl after feigning to approach her. After a fierce battle, Abigail also joins her, and together they defeat him. After that, they pierce Frank's heart with a stake till his body blows up. After Frank's death, Abigail tells Joey that she is no longer under the vampire's curse and praises her. Joey is relieved by this and gets ready to go, but not before Abigail's father, Christoph Lazar, confronts her. Abigail stops him when he tries to kill her for taking his daughter. She begs Joey not to hurt her, explaining that he saved her life today. When Lazar hears this, he is appreciative and chooses to release her. The film then ends with Joey, covered in blood, fleeing the mansion.